Hi, I'm Mike Billiard and I'm a lure designer and I live in central Minnesota. And most of the time I've been known for making weedless spoons for largemouth bass. But in addition to that, I also make some small uh, balsa wood handmade uh, lures for fly fishing for bass also. And here's what they look like. And over the period of years uh, of making this lure, um, I first, they're all handmade by the way, and then I paint them up and I normally coat them with a two-part epoxy. And that's worked okay for me over a period of years, but the only problem that I have with most of the epoxies out there is that they turn kind of a nasty yellow uh, color after a while, especially if you've been out on the water and in the sun exposed to the, to the, the sunlight. And uh, I've never really liked that because it kind of wrecks the, the look of the lure. And then um, somehow I found on the internet art resin. I'm not sure exactly how I came across them, but in their marketing materials, uh, it's a two-part epoxy. It's used for a lot of different uh, things. And you can find them at artresin.com. And uh, it's used for a lot of different things, but in their marketing materials, it did say that uh, it shouldn't yellow. And I was pretty interested in that because I hadn't seen an epoxy yet that wouldn't yellow on me. So I contacted them and uh, told them I'd like to test it out. And they were nice enough to send me a small quantity of it for me to, to test. So this is my video review of Art Resin for the purpose that uh, I'm using it for. And I have, uh, I'm not receiving any kind of uh, monetary compensation and I'm not connected or affiliated at all with Art Resin. This is just my review and my honest review of the product. So here goes. Well, here's what the finished lures look like. They're painted up and finished with art resin. And how I start out is I take a piece of uh, balsa wood and put it in my lathe and mark the ends where I want to cut it and slowly start shaping it with sandpaper until I get the uh, shape that I'm looking for to start out with a rough shape. And then I take an emery board and I shape them down to the actual shape of the minnow so I can glue them uh, a hook actually inside the body and get it ready for sealing. And the next step after the glue dries I uh, put some sanding sealer on the balsa wood and let that dry and it probably takes about uh, oh, well, a few hours for all of that to dry and then I'm ready to start painting. In this case with the art resin I uh, painted up a couple different uh, types of uh, medium. This is with an acrylic paint. I painted uh, these with uh, a Pache airbrush with acrylic paint and the other uh, ones I painted was with a Copic or Copic um, ink marker, and uh, that is an, that's actually ink in those markers, markers and I uh, airbrushed that also. So the finished products before uh, coating came out to look like this in about three different colors. And uh, what I did next is take a small amount of art resin, uh, resin and the hardener and mix it up very good for three minutes in a small little cup that I have and I slowly started applying that to the lure itself. It went on very smooth. Uh, it, it, it went on pretty thick. I wanted to put a thick coat on just see how fast it would dry but it was very very easy to just dip that into my little container and then put that on the lure. And then after that, after I got them all done, I put them on a rotisserie type of uh, uh, tool that I have right here and uh, once they're dried which took about 24 to 36 hours they came out very very shiny and looked exactly like this. Well uh, that's the end of my review so far uh, I can say that I'm very pleased with Art Resin it seems to work really good uh, all of my lures uh, my uh, balsa lures seem to dry really hard, very shiny, and uh, I'm anxious to put them on the water and test them out and see how they hold up with the sunlight. Uh, so I think it's, it's a great product, uh, and uh, one thing about art resin that I found that's a little bit different than uh, most epoxies or two-part epoxies is that when you are actually uh, applying the finish to the lure itself. Uh, it's a little more forgiving than most epoxies. You do have a little bit more uh, time before some of the stuff will start to sag. Now, uh, as you saw in the video, I put it on a turner, so when it's rotating around, uh, if it does start to sag, it will even out, and uh, I will get a nice smooth finish. 
but the second part of this video should be coming sometime this summer I give it a little testing time see how it holds up uh, to fish and uh, the sunlight so try some art resin it's artresin.com and I think you'll really enjoy it